YouTube, we are going to be doing a drop fade in this video. I'm not going to say it's a mid drop or a low drop or a high drop, okay? It's just a drop fade. Let's just call it a drop fade. Um, we're going to start in the middle of the C cup and we're just going to go up around the ears and drop it down on this neck area. And uh, so what I'm going to do with these guidelines is my guidelines are going to have a set shape no matter what the rest of the canvas is looking like, okay? So you still want that fade to have a good shape even if the hair on top doesn't match that shape. So right now I'm doing my lever open going up about a half inch and I'm just I'm just doing the same exact shape that I did with my ball guideline except I'm using my lever open. And now I'm doing the same thing with the one guy open but I am keeping that same shape so it's going to be some hair that I won't cut that you would think I'm supposed to but I'm not and I'm going to tell you why when we get to that next step. When it comes to barbering man one thing you definitely need to understand is gradients okay you need to have some gradients in order for your fades to stand out and uh gradients is basically just the blend from light to dark you know what i'm saying if if i was to do this whole top of this fade at a lever open a one guy lever open it would just be light to like a little bit lighter it, it would be light to a little bit darker not light to dark okay so hopefully i'm making sense right now but i want it to be darker at the top and I wanted to blend down and make it super light at the bottom. So I just wanted some gradients. I wanted to add some gradients to this fade by keeping the same shape, the same shape, which e with each step, Lord have mercy, chill, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I want to keep the same shape with each step that I do. Also keeping that darkness at the top of the fade, just so this haircut can stand out. Right now I'm using my zero closed. And this is the longest part of the haircut. I'm using my lever, adjusting as I go up and in any areas that I need. And a lot of you guys be roasting the way I be talking, man, in the comment section. Listen, bro, I'm humble, bro. I'm not, I don't want people to think that I'm perfect or that like I don't mess up, bro. I mess up, bro. I'm still a human being. <laughs> I'm not finna edit my voiceovers to take out all of the stuttering all of the wrong words i'm not gonna do that okay i want y'all to know me for me and i want y'all to know that i'm the same on camera like how i am off camera so when you guys meet me in person it's gonna be like you meeting you know like like we've been cool because i feel like that's how i talk to you guys when i'm doing these voiceovers i feel like i'm just talking to you you know just watching this haircut with you guys and um I pretty much developed a relationship with my followers, man. I feel like my following is real loyal, real supportive. And uh, I think that's why I get the love that I get when I go to these shows and I see these people in real life. Um, because I'm just, you know, so down to earth. And I, and I really appreciate y'all, man, because y'all don't have to support me. But, you know, even though I have a smaller following, I feel like to some, it might, it might feel like a bigger impact than other influencers with a bigger following you know what i'm saying i feel like my following is more loyal more supportive and i think it's just because i'm more down to earth you know what i'm saying I, I i really appreciate every supporter that i have and uh yeah especially the day ones man the day ones that have been there since the beginning y'all seen the grind y'all seen the come up and we not finished yet man we definitely not finished we're trying to hit that 100k as soon as possible so if you guys love any of the videos that i put out please just share them in any way shape or form or even if you just record yourself like watching it if you just add it to your instagram story that would that'll be very much appreciated man now it's time to get into this lineup it's pretty simple the front part is lighter than the rest like the, the hair grows higher in the middle so we are gonna ha have to start in that lightest area possible in the middle just so you can make it straight across Right now, I'm debulking it with the one guy open with the grain, basically the same level as the two open against the grain. So now I'm going to use my cocoa trimmers. You can get this at thebarberplug.com. Use my code WavyK at checkout. And we're just starting at the lightest spot in that front area, and then we're going to cut off all that overhang on both of the sides. Bye. 
And I'm also trying this new look where I don't like use any C cups. Um, I feel like this guy was the perfect person to try it on real quick. Plus he he was in love with the haircut, man. He he loved like he loved it, bro. Like, he this is only my second time cutting them. I cut them one time way back when and that cut was fire, but I didn't film it, so came back again i was like bro i gotta film it you got that you got that good texture man you know what i'm saying he's like i'm down i'm down you know what i'm saying so i definitely wanted to try and see what it would look like having like half half of that c cup so you got the straight down part with no curve basically and let me know what you guys think about that you think it looks good you think it looks dumb let me know now i'm just adding enhancements we are going to use 245 no drip and to make it look more natural, we are gonna add we are gonna add hair fibers on top so it can look more natural and not super shiny. So after I spray hairspray, I'm just gonna blow dry it on cool with a low fan. Then we're just gonna line it up again, make sure everything is set and crispy, okay? I comb down all that hair just to make sure nothing is hanging over or out of place. And then we hit it one more time for some detail work. Look at that 90 degree angle, man. It's, that thing is crazy. It's a whole 90 degree angle, bro. Like you guys can grab two rulers and put them next to each other. And you're going to see that angle right there. It's crazy. Just came out super crispy, bro. Like, super crispy. And now we're just going to do the face. We're going to speed through that. Not really much I can say. Somebody did ask me for a facial hair video. I need to find somebody with, like, only facial hair. So if you guys are bald and you watch my videos, but you got, like, a nice goatee or a nice full beard, um, hit me up, bro. I'll get you in for free just so I can film it for YouTube. I'm also in Buffalo, New York, so if you are in Rochester, Niagara Falls, or any surrounding areas, you know, pull up. I got you.